guess we're all in agreement with the San Francisco 49ers. We're their true contender. I'm not getting no debate here. I, I know that I'll just say real quick. I know that they've had two bad losses in a row. Um, the, the, the brand, and I know Q might not like this, but, and, but I've kept it fair Q. I'm not like a, a hater on the Cowboys and, and a pumper up of the 49ers. I call it pretty fair. The 49ers against the, the, the Browns, Browns are a great defense. I know they got had by the Colts. They're probably feeling themselves a little bit, a little bit too much. And uh, they they were injured. They have been injured. Trent Williams not playing and Debo not playing. That's a big impact. I know they still got Kittle, but, but we know this about Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy, while Q is probably system quarterback, I'm he's system quarterback, yeah, but I think he's he's 17th best quarterback in the league, 16th. Like he's around there. Um that's and I'm it's that's not fair. like I'm not saying like Brock Purdy's trash. No, I'm not to be an assistant QB is not a bad thing. The no, ultimate no. system QB is Kirk Cousins, and he's a borderline top 10 quarterback. Mm-hmm. I just didn't like when people were trying to punch push him into conversations that he, he didn't, didn't, he didn't yeah, he like shouldn't be in here. Yeah. He has great arms. Like they were saying all these things. when you're put in situations, like I only use the Browns game for specific things like whether a quarterback is elite or not. When things aren't perfect, and that mm-hmm. you see the common thread, common theme with Cal Shanahan teams who are one and thirty-six when trailing by five points in the, in the fourth quarter, meaning their defense wasn't holding up. They have, you know, the per, the game plan wasn't perfect. You're missing this guy. You're missing this guy. Their system QBs couldn't overcome. Exactly. And it's and it's mm-hmm. not a Brock Purdy because it's, it's been with Brock Purdy. It's been with Jimmy Garoppolo. It's been with Nate Nick Mullins. Mullins. You name yeah, it. Name them. And Q, Q, I want to read off this set because you, you, you stole my stat there. and I But I, I have it written down. Um, I, I don't know if you – under Kyle Shanahan since 2017, um, in the fourth quarter, down five, they're 0 and 29. Um, since Kyle true. Shanahan, um, but this is for Brock Purdy, too. Brock Purdy, this season by quarter, quarters one through three, never trailed seven, 71.5 percent completion percentage, 9.2 pass yards, uh, per attempt, nine pass touchdowns, one interception, and 117.1 passer rating in the fourth quarter. 54.8 completion percentage, 6.7 passing yards per attempt, two passing touchdowns, two interceptions, and a 71.5 passer rating. That's Big ass drop off. 40 point passer rating drop off by Brock Purdy in the fourth quarter. This year. That tells you in the high leverage situations, you need special to win those games when you're missing your left tackle, you're missing your best weapons and whatnot. Kyle Shanahan and the 49ers in 2019 had the Chiefs literally beat in the fourth quarter. It took – they needed one throw from Jimmy Garoppolo, who's a system quarterback, and he couldn't make the throw. You know who makes those throws? The special elite guys. Oh, you know man. what I'm saying? Yeah. But when, the, when everything don't go well, things tend to fail. And the thing about Kyle Shanahan is he doesn't develop quarterbacks. He just looks for quarterbacks that will fit into the system. And that's not a knock because we've seen the system produce. But when it rubber meets the road, you need a special guy if you want to win yeah. the big one. Yeah, so so, so in the Super Bowls. Yeah, basically what Q, what Q is saying is the Shanahan's fucked up by not accepting Tom Brady on multiple occasions when he wanted to go to San Francisco because because they didn't want because Tom Brady's not a system quarterback. Tom Brady is the system, and they didn't want their system being disrupted. I think I think this comes down to a little bit too of a little bit of ego in the Shanahan's believing in their system is capable of winning a Super Bowl. When we've seen, they haven't been able to get over that hump. Cause the, it's the type of quarterbacks they're bringing in. Yep. You know what I'm saying like, you just want them to come in and plop down and, you know, do this, hit this read and this, that, and the third. Sometimes the flow of the game just won't allow for that. So let me ask you guys this quick. Yes or no. In the off season this year, should the San Francisco 49ers go after Kirk Cousins? No, I wouldn't. Okay. Keep Brock. That's like, that's yeah, like I would say I would say keep Brock because like, like I've I feel like when it comes to Brock Purdy and I've watched I've watched a couple 49er games this year. Like, I feel like when it comes to Brock, like he I think he can be a, he can be more than a system quarterback in my opinion. Right now, he is he is like fitting in the system, yeah. and we all see it. Yeah. I don't but I don't see why he can't get those traits, why he can't make those throws later on. You gotta remember he's in his second year. Mm-hmm. 
And uh, last year, he came in through the through what, like the last four games, six or seven, I think. Six I or seven. He, so he he's played what seven or eight weeks this year. He played six plus he's the about, like, yeah. I think he's uh, I think he's played like eleven or he's only lost like three games. games. Like that. I understand that's the product of the system, but I still feel like like you've like we all see it. Like when you see certain throws that he makes, like there's only certain guys that can make that throw. Yeah, he, he, you he, see he, it in him. So I feel like if you keep him long term, and you gotta remember, like he was thrown into the system. Mm -hmm. So if he if he really was to wait on the bench, wait his time, get developed, and like watch guys above him. I don't see why he can't be one of those guys. Well, and I'll and I'll tell you this because I'm this that has been thrown around too. He, I think he either leads the league or he's top five in the league in tight window throws. He can make throws. Like that's what I'm saying. Where I've come higher on Brock, like last year, like last year and coming into this year, I had Brock somewhere in the 20s because I was this is complete system. Like I need to see more. Yeah. If if this kid consistently proves it to us and consistently shows up and shows out, right? Eventually, like if he does it two, three, four years. And he consistent. Maybe they get a Super Bowl in there, and he consistently shows up and shows out. We can't sit here and deny him anymore. Like you yeah. have to give him his credit and say, okay, yes, he's got the pieces around him. But name me a quarterback that really doesn't have great pieces around him. So you need great pieces to win, and eventually you can't deny what what your eyes are seeing, what everything is seeing. Exactly. He'll develop into that player. But right now, right now, I have him. Like I said, seventeen. I think. 16, 17, 18th in the NFL right now. He could easily move. I don't know if he gets to top 10. Maybe. He maybe might he be like, like eight or nine years in a row, but like that's, yeah. that's way down the line. Yeah. What when people say see more, do you want you want to see him do more of the same thing you already seen and have to No, I want him to I want him to no, take he wins. like extra leap. If he like wins that little like extra win. So like so like you, like if he wins, if like he gets there and they win the Super Bowl, if he if he if he takes those stats that I read you and that we have about Kyle Shanahan down by five in the fourth quarter, he's 0 and uh, 29 or 1 and 36 like and then the fourth quarter this year he's 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 71.5 passer rating, but he's got 117 for the first three. If he goes in in the playoffs, and let's say they're down a touchdown or down five, and he beats the Cowboys, he comes back, or he beats the Eagles and comes back, and then in the play in the Super Bowl, he goes up against the Bengals or the Chiefs or the Bills, and he beats them game-winning drive, or he does that three years in a row or something like that, eventually, you can't – that's what I mean by – Yeah, like you can't deny game. who the kid is. Like. But the thing is, with this 49ers team – yeah, it's going to be hard for him to be put in said situations. So everybody's going to say you just got to you got to grade what you see. If we only see them 95 percent of the time going into the fourth quarter with a 10 point lead and they're just going to run the ball out, you're going to mm -hmm. keep getting these same back party games and these same stats. And you're going to be forced still to say that he's an elite quarterback because he has the elite numbers for me. It's gonna be hard pressed for me to grade him when he I don't ever see him in duress. And when I seen him in duress. Yeah, he hasn't shown hey, up. He hasn't yeah, shown up. But, but, that, like, but, but what if but he does? Yeah. What if he does? Like, what if he is put in those situations this year? And that's what like, that's what B's trying to say is like. That's yeah, what B's he, trying to say is like. My back, you go ahead. I'm about to say when he gets there and when it, when it happens and he guts out and the we wins, and we I'd create. have a different. I'd come up here and say something different if the last yeah. two weeks he came out and gutted out wins. Then yeah. I'd be like, oh, he showed me exactly what I need to see when I needed to see yeah. it at yeah. specific yeah. time. I don't care because, like I said, if you want to put him in these top twelve, top ten type conversations. Those are, those are the, the, the players that, you know, they got out wins when everything's not perfect. You've seen Kirk Cousins do exactly what you want out about. Purdy. And the knock on Kirk Cousins is in big games, he does not perform. But we watched him against the best team in the league, basically, without his number one receiver, a rookie yeah. guy, no offensive line, and no defense, basically got out a win in prime time. He did. You know what I'm saying? So you, you transfer that property. We From Kirk Cousins to Brock, if you swap – Kirk Cousins and Brock Purdy, Kirk Cousins, who flourishes in this system, Cal Shanahan loves Kirk Cousins. Monster. You would have looked a lot better. He'd be even better than what we actually think. We'll we'll be calling Kirk Cousins damn near a top eight guy because he'll have those he same moments and then some. He would. He'll, have the, he'll have the numbers. He'll have the wins, and he'll have those moments that everybody wants to see. Yeah, and that's that. The moments thing is the big thing. Is moment, That's what sports is. It's moments. It's built off moments. Yeah. And, and we all believe that. We all believe that he'll have all, and that just instantly changes the perception of Kirk Cousins, right? It yeah. can't, yeah, it can. That that's what I'm saying. But like that, that, but that that is perception is reality, though. Remember that perception is reality. At the end of the day, to a point. 
But if like if Brock Purdy goes on and does it, and you want to say the top twelve quarterback, what about the quarterbacks that you pushed out because they weren't in that situation? Because we know the quarterbacks are the better talent. If you just drop them in that situation, they'll be miles in the head better. And I know it's hard to do that, like, oh, just drop Patrick Mahomes and put it in there. He's going to shatter all the records and whatnot. Mm-hmm. It's, it's it's damn near the truth. Like, Patrick Mahomes will probably be, like, basically the GOAT after three years of playing with Kyle Shanahan because he'll have literally probably run off three Super Bowls in a row, yeah. three MVPs and whatnot. But since Brock Purdy isn't Patrick Mahomes, he's only going to do so much mm-hmm. and – just doing so much in that offense and on that team, yeah, has you believing that he's almost an MVP, he's almost top 10. I don't that's think just, I, I, not me, not me, not me. I, I know, know the discourse, like, I know the like, discourse, yeah. Yeah, you feel me? You I know got people about it just because he's on that team. So I just yeah. imagine if somebody of the actual caliber was on that team. Yeah, and that's doing those things hundred percent. No, 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 I I hear you, I hear you hundred percent. You're correct. It's it's he can't be put in those conversations. I'm just saying if he is put in those situations. Like this year, next year, a couple of years from now, and he, he shows up and shows up. Yeah, that that's what you're saying. We'll cross that bridge when we get there, uh, and and that's fair and that's agreeable. Um, but in terms of your point of Kirk Cousins, the the Shanahan. This is what's funny. Just a quick stat, and then we'll move on to the AFC a little bit. Is they they've so back when RG three right and Mike Shanahan was there, they trade up and get RG three, three first round picks, and and some other things. And they get RG three, and then they draft Kirk Cousins later on in the draft, right? And they because they wanted Kirk Dan Snyder, who's not an owner anymore, wanted RG three, fell in love with him, and then they basically he basically forced Mike Shanahan to go get RG three when they really believed in Kirk more than RG three. So they do that. Fast forward, they trade up to go get Trey Lance with three first round picks. They believe in him, and guess what? They take a late round quarterback in Brock Purdy. And it seems like that guy hits more than the guy they took on early on. It's just funny how that works. It's it's a, it's a weird it, uh, thing that works like that. I must say it's the because they. It's like again, you need the special type players to you know to really you know put a mark on his league and RG three and Trey Lance and special in terms of like they're athletically gifted. And they could pretty much they could make all the throws and they're athletic. They could run. They could move out the pocket. This and a third. You will expect those you and you know you want those traits to translate to winning football. Like you take a Lamar Jackson and you and or take a Josh Allen, take the physically gifted guy and you know mold him into the player. And that's what you you know, take yeah. your three years, take your lumps, and get him there to that point. But Kyle Shanahan, he wants to, and you know, they want the person that could just come in right away and start producing. Yeah. And, and again, I'm not knocking the Kyle Shanahan because clearly it works. Mm-hmm. You can, it generates wins. It gets you to the yeah, playoffs. Contenders, yeah. But, but when you get to that big game, a lot of those big games, you need a lot of – you either need everything you need perfect. that guy. You need that guy. You know yep. what I'm saying? And they don't have that guy. It, they don't. 